Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at electro negativity. For this example, we are going to look at methane. Fun facts about methane. Methane, it is a greenhouse gas. It is found in nature. It is highly flammable and therefore it is an idealistic reactant for combustion. It can be used to generate electricity. It is a colorless gas and has a terrible awful smell. Its chemical structure is CH4. Okay, let's start. What is electronegativity? By definition, it is the measure of how strongly an atom pulls shared electron pairs towards itself. Therefore, the greater the electronegativity of an atom, of an element, the stronger the attractive pull of electrons. And the opposite is also true. Each element, except for noble gases, has an electronegativity value. Electronegativity value can be located on your periodic table and has a scale of 0 to 4. Hence, if you're reading anything above that, you're probably reading the atomic number or something else. So be careful. Methane. Okay, now let's use the skills that we've learned earlier on. Let's use the Lewis dot diagram to draw its chemical structure. We learned that carbon has four valence electrons and hydrogen has one each. We are dealing with four hydrogens, hence we will have four hydrogens reacting with one carbon. Let's draw this. We have our hydrogen and each has one valence electron. These two can react together to form single bonds around each other. If you look at the structure, you will notice that it is tetrahedral, single bonds between hydrogen and carbon, and it is symmetrical. Now, what is the electronegativity for methane? First, let's find individual electronegativity values for both hydrogen and carbon. So, hydrogen from your periodic table or some textbook has an electronegativity of 2.1 carbon has an electronegativity of 2.5. The difference between these two, which is 2.5 minus 2.1, should give you 0 0.4. Step three is to determine the polarity. From this table here, I reference the Avila Physics textbook, um, it states that if you have a electronegativity difference of 0, the type of bond it is non-polar covalent. And if it's 0 0.1, we have a weak polar covalent. 1.1 to 2, we have a strong polar covalent, and above 2.1, we have ionic. So we got 0 0.4. It is said to be weak polar. And therefore, we can say that it is too weak to be considered a true polar, and therefore, we can just alternatively just say it is non polar bond between the hydrogen and the carbon atoms. If we go back, to the drawing that we do of the carbon and hydrogen to form methane structure, you will notice that it forms a tetrahedral geometry structure. It has zero lone pairs and has four bonding electron pairs. And therefore, we can say it is symmetrical, which also can conclude that the molecular polarity of methane, it is nonpolar. Note that polar solvents will dissolve polar solids while non-polar solvents will dissolve non-polar solids. Because methane is non-polar, it does not dissolve well in water since water is considered a polar solvent. However, water, which is a polar solvent, will dissolve salts and other polar molecule solids. We can also do the very same thing for water and determine its polarity. The first step will be to find the electronegativity of water, which should be 1.4. And if you go back to the table, it tells you that from 1.1 to 2, it is a strong polar covalent and hence, therefore, we can say that the type of bond here, it is polar. The structure or geometry of water, it is spent, and we can say that the molecule polarity, it is also, therefore, polar. I really hope this makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.